My son Abdi was not himself when he woke up this morning. He had fever last night and today he is not moving like he normally does. Whenever we see a child with these symptoms, we should report it and follow up to see what has made them unwell. Poliovirus is a risk in our community. It can lead to permanent paralysis. Testing his tools will help us know if it's polio or not. Two samples should be taken at least 24 hours apart, as soon as possible after the onset of any paralysis. A DPO, VPV, parent or caretaker may collect the stool sample. The first step is to wash your hands with soap and water, then prepare a dry area on the ground to collect the stools, using the plastic sheet or a clean plastic bag. When he has passed the stool, you should collect an amount that will fill about half of the container using the spatula from inside the container provided in the kit. Put the stool in the container and screw the cap on tightly. Wrap the container in soft, absorbent cotton wool. This will help ensure the sample reaches the lab in good condition. Once the sample is wrapped securely, put it into the zipper bag and seal it. The sample must be kept cold until surveillance workers can get it to the lab. It is important to dispose of the plastic sheet that you use to collect the stool because it may still carry harmful germs. Carefully wrap up the plastic sheet and dispose of it. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Surveillance staff will take the sample to a secure place where it can be kept cold. They will return after 24 hours to collect a second sample. Remember, only fresh stool samples should be collected. If Abdi wears diapers, be careful to only collect new stool so it can be accurately tested. Surveillance officers should ensure the child's name, date, and time of stool collection is correctly recorded on both samples. The surveillance team will aim to inform you of the results as soon as the lab has finished the testing, usually within one month. 